Welcome to Mark Reed 757. Rules, rules, rules. We all need rules, guidelines uh, to follow. And, well, I made these rules to give myself a guideline. And I was trying to figure out uh, what what to do. And I, I kind of had these in my head. And I just didn't really, you know, I guess if they're in my head, I don't really have to follow them all the time. Well, now I'm making these rules and I wrote them down and I'm going to be putting them in my description and all the future descriptions and let's see here uh, rule number one no eating after 6 p.m. okay the reason why I don't want to eat after 6 p.m. is because every time I eat after 6 p.m. I've, I've been weighing myself usually twice a day and every time I have ate after 6 p.m. I've always gained weight versus losing weight if I don't eat after 6 p.m. Um, number two, which brings me to number two, very limited to no bread. Uh, ideally, I, I like to have no bread, but I have been kind of allowing myself, okay, if it's like a tortilla or something in a burrito or whatever, uh, uh, let's see, a wrap or something, I might eat that, but, you know, I, I don't want to do like I used to do. I'd eat like two wraps. Now I just eat one. Uh, number three, don't get down on myself for failures. Uh, in the past, I'd get down on myself, and, you know, that, that just kind of ruins it for future endeavors. You know, maybe if I if I get down for a bad meal, then I follow it up with another bad meal and another bad meal. Well, that's no good. As to where if I have a bad meal, just get over it and move on. Go to the next one. Uh, number four, stay away from fast food. You know, fast food, by all accounts, is absolutely no good. I don't care. Uh, rather, I get just the salads or whatever. I mean, everything's way more expensive than it should be, and I just want to stay away from it. No more fast food, number four. Number five, this is a new one, and I, I decided I had to add this on here. Pre-planned meals at least a day in advance. I'm going to go shoot for a week in advance, and I'm doing them right after this video because I want to make sure I got my whole week planned out uh, Monday through Sunday with the stuff that I already have. So I'm going to go downstairs, look at everything I have in my refrigerator, figure out what I can eat, what I can't eat. If I need to buy any more, I will uh, after I need it. <laughs> Let's see. Number six. I don't have a problem with this whatsoever. No pop, soda, or whatever you call it. That's number six, and that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, my trainer, who's also my really good friend, I've known for years and years, he calls it liquid fat, and that's all it is. It's liquid fat. I mean, it's, it's sugar, and it's other bull crap, and chemicals, and crap. And, you know, after I haven't had it for so long, I tried one, and it's really not even that tasty either. It's terrible. Too sweet. Uh, number seven. This is another new one that I've made for myself. Don't starve myself. You know, before I'd go, okay, I, I don't want to eat, don't eat, don't eat. And then I, I feel like when I go to exercise and I can't, I don't have enough calories from previously to do the exercises. So I, I get ran down and tired. And I, I don't want that. So don't starve myself. Number seven. Number eight listen to my body I have to listen to what my body's telling me I've been doing this this is this tells me like for instance if I eat a bad meal then it makes me feel bad afterwards so I gotta listen to my body say hey look my body doesn't want that where if I eat a good meal my body feels like it's happy it feels good so you know I gotta listen to what my body's telling me or you know say my body's saying hey look you're hungry and I need to eat or look, you had enough. You don't need to eat. Then I need to not eat. Uh, number nine is pretty new. It's research how to improve my life. So at least spend once a day looking a little bit on how I can improve. And I'm always wanting to improve because you don't want to stay the same. Uh, what do they say? Uh, if you do the same thing all the time and expect different results, it's insanity. Number 10, hey, always set new goals. Uh, you know, if you if you set your goals and you reach them, 
then you tend to not want to do any more. I mean, you already reach it. What, what's the sense in doing anything else? Uh, so I'm always going to set new goals. So, you know, I, I also have short-term goals. I have long-term goals. I have middle goals. I got, I got all kinds of goals. Granted, I haven't been writing them down, which that's one thing I'm going to be working on a little more often. But um, let's see here. The If you don't set your, if you don't keep setting goals, you know, say I lose 200 pounds, for an example, and I'm, I'm, you know, I really wanted to lose that 200 pounds. Well, now that I lost the 200 pounds, that's the only goal I had. You know, I, I could start slipping back the way I was because I'm like, hey, I reached the goal. All right. You just don't do anything else. Anyway, always set new goals. Uh, my next video is going to be about uh, how I've been saving a lot of money ever since I quit going to you know, putting food number one and spending so much on food. Anyway, 